Hey everybody, this is Carlos from Coralview. I'm here in Magnet 2016 at the MaxSpec booth and I'm going to introduce you to the brand new Gyre 200 series with the advanced controller. One of the biggest questions I get asked here at Magnet 2016 is what's the difference between the Gyre 200 series and the Gyre 100? Well, it's a two-part answer. There's hardware and then there's the controller. For the hardware, the new Gyres have a longer cable and stronger cable. Also, the new gyres come with rugged propellers and rugged bushings. So the rugged propellers are able to take more beating, except more uh, debris, they won't break as much, and they won't strip. The second part of your question is the controller. The advanced controller has a whole new set of features that are not available with the first controller. So let's go ahead and talk about that. So the advanced controller has a set of new features that will blow your mind. In addition to the regular three flows that we know about, which is the, the alternating gyre mode, the constant mode, and the pulsing mode, the new controller allows you to have a gradual pulsing. Now, what gradual pulsing mean? That means that you can actually tell the controller how long it takes for you to ramp up and ramp down the pump. And you have a random mode, which what it, random mode means is the pump controller just picks whatever flow from constant, from pulsing, from gradual pulsing, and puts it all together in a random manner. Now, if you have two pumps running, that's when the controller really, really gets interesting. Because now you have an additional link mode, which you can actually have a pump sync with another pump. You can have a pump anti-sync, so they're running opposites. You have a pump that has a time delay at the beginning, so you have a pump start first and then the next, the next pump starts right after, or you can have a pump time delayed at the end, so one pump will finish before the other one does. So technically you can create an amazing number of flows that will pretty much have no dead spot. And when I mean not dead spot, I'm not talking about dead, sp dead spots all the time. What happens with the random mode, which is one of my favorites, is that at one point you'll have one corner of your tank with low flow. And that's okay, because in the ocean, not everything flows at the same rate. Then later on, because the randomness of the flow changes, all of a sudden now this corner has really high flow and a different corner has low flow. So when the low flow is in one corner, the, de the detritus collects there, but then as the pump changes and creates random flows, then that detritus gets picked up and taken away and so forth. So you can see how after time you will have no dead spots because there is, the flow is constantly changing regardless of where the tank, is, where the water is going. Another nice feature about the controller are the presets. And what are the presets? Well. I technically don't have time to sit there and program my controller to do 24 different time sets because the controller allows you to manually program 24 different times to have different flows. But at the same time, MaxPick has provided us with two already preset 24 hour sets that allow us to have amazing flow without the programming, the lunar tidal cycle and the alternating gyre cycle. The lunar tidal cycle is actually pretty nice because it recreates the low tide and high tide during the day. And the alternating gyre cycle allows you to create gyre current like the ocean where the water from the bottom comes up and circulates to the top creating this gyre effect that we all know and come to want in our tanks. In all, the advanced control allows you to have a very complicated flow pattern without the countless lines and time and logistics of having to program something. Thank you for joining us here at Magnets 2016 and goodbye.